The International Nutrition Research Center, INRC, is pleased to introduce you to the discovery of the Master Amino Acid Pattern, MAP. Updated Methodology to Determine a Protein Nutritional Value A dietary protein can be either indigestible or digestible. A protein is indigestible when it is eliminated through the feces. Consequently, it is nutritionally useless. On the contrary, a dietary protein is digestible when it is enzymatically hydrolyzed in the digestive tract, thus releasing its constituent amino acids in the first 100 centimeters of the small intestine, where they are absorbed. Then, those amino acids can follow either the anabolic or the catabolic pathway. When amino acids follow the anabolic pathway, they act as precursors of body protein synthesis, which is their primary function, thus becoming the body's constituent proteins. Throughout the anabolic pathway, no energy or nitrogen catabolites are released. On the contrary, when amino acids follow the catabolic pathway, they are deaminated, which is their secondary function. Therefore, they cannot act as precursors of body protein synthesis. Throughout the catabolic pathway, energy and nitrogen catabolites are released. It should be noticed that the anabolic pathway has two main positive characteristics. It provides body protein synthesis and it does not provide any nitrogen catabolites. On the contrary, the catabolic pathway has two main negative characteristics. It cannot provide body protein synthesis, and it does provide nitrogen catabolites, which are metabolic toxic waste. Anabolism versus Catabolism The percentage of a protein's anabolized amino acids is inversely proportional to that of those catabolized. Therefore, the higher the percentage of AAA, the lower that of CAA, and vice versa. The percentage of amino acids following the anabolic pathway to act as precursors of body protein synthesis is equal to its net nitrogen utilization, or NNU. Meanwhile, the percentage of amino acids following the catabolic pathway is equal to the percentage of its released nitrogen catabolites. Thus, by knowing a protein's percentage of NNU, or released nitrogen catabolites, its released amount of energy can be determined. A protein NNU is the unit of measurement for body protein synthesis. It is calculated through a methodology known as body nitrogen balance. This has been a fundamental analytical technique during the last 160 years. It can be applied by using the shown equation, where B is equal to nitrogen balance, I is equal to nitrogen intake, proceeding from dietary proteins, and O is equal to nitrogen output, which in turn is the sum of U plus F plus S, where U is equal to nitrogen loss in urine, F is equal to nitrogen loss in feces, and S is equal to the dermal nitrogen loss. A protein's NNU for body protein synthesis represents its nutritional value. Thus, the higher its NNU, the higher its nutritional value. On the contrary, the lower its NNU, the lower its nutritional value. Meanwhile, a protein NNU is inversely proportional to the amounts of nitrogen catabolites and energy that it releases. Therefore, the higher a protein NNU, the lower its released amounts of nitrogen catabolites and energy. On the contrary, the lower the protein NNU, the higher its released amounts of nitrogen catabolites and energy. To illustrate, the most nutritious dietary proteins such as meat, fish, or poultry provide an average of 32% NNU. This means that only 32% of their constituent amino acids act as precursors of body protein synthesis to become body's constituent proteins. Meanwhile, the remaining 68% are catabolized, thus releasing nitrogen catabolites and energy. On the other hand, milk, soy, casein, or whey 
The main proteins found in most protein supplements only provide an average of 16% NNU. This means that only 16% of their constituent amino acids act as precursors of body protein synthesis. Meanwhile, the remaining 84% are catabolized, thus releasing nitrogen catabolites and energy. To conclude, a dietary protein nutritional value can be evaluated by four parameters. The percentage of its digestibility. The percentage of its NNU for body protein synthesis. The amount of its released energy and the percentage of its released nitrogen catabolites. The characteristics of the master amino acid pattern, MAP. MAP is composed of a patented unique pattern of highly purified, free, crystalline essential amino acids. Clinical studies have shown that MAP can substitute dietary proteins or protein supplements in a safer and nutritionally more efficient way. Net Nitrogen Utilization for Body Protein Synthesis MAP provides a 99% net nitrogen utilization, or NNU. This means that 99% of MAP's constituent amino acids act as precursors of body protein synthesis, or BPS, to become body's constituent proteins. By comparison, the most nutritious dietary proteins, such as meat, fish, or poultry, provide an average of 32% NNU. Consequently, only 32% of their constituent amino acids can act as precursors of BPS. Meanwhile, most protein supplements only provide an average of 16% NNU because they use milk, soy, casein, or whey as their primary protein source. As a result, only 16% of their constituent amino acids act as precursors of BPS. Therefore, dietary proteins provide a BPS that is at least three times lower compared to MAP. Meanwhile, protein supplements provide a BPS that is at least six times lower compared to MAP. Digestion time. MAP is absorbed in the small intestine within 23 minutes from its ingestion. By comparison, dietary proteins and protein supplements need from 3 to 6 hours to be digested. This is 6 to 12 times longer compared to MAP. Body Protein Synthesis Over Time Ratio By knowing a protein's NNU and its digestion time, a protein BPS over time ratio can be calculated. MAP's BPS over time ratio is equal to 99% NNU over 23 minutes. By comparison, the most nutritious dietary proteins have a ratio of 32% NNU over 180 to 360 minutes. This means that the BPS over time ratio of dietary proteins is 24 to 48 times lower compared to MAP. Meanwhile, protein supplements have a ratio of 16% NNU over 180 to 360 minutes. This means that the BPS over time ratio of protein supplements is 48 to 96 times lower compared to MAP.